Hey guys, my name is Kelsey Steele and I am a freelance 3D artist. And today I'm going to share my technique on how to loop the flags and banner kit from the Pixel Lab. This was something that I included as part of a presentation that I did for Maxon. You can see that full presentation along with my others over on Maxon's YouTube channel. So we'll hop back over into C4D. And this is flag number 23, exactly as it downloads. I haven't done anything to this file yet. And when we scrub through, we see this really natural, beautiful wind motion. However, it's only 600 frames, and at the beginning, it's very rigid before all those forces take effect. So my first step, I'm going to start by pulling over my timeline, and I'll just drag this flag over into my timeline, and I'm going to bake this out. I want to create a copy, and I want to use the point level animation. And initially, everything's going to look exactly the same. However, my copy is a polygonal object and not an Olympic. So I'll just hide that Olympic, start by renaming. And then I'm going to make three copies. That one will be called Begin. We'll call this one End. And our final one we'll call loop. So I'll bring back my timeline. I'm going to go into my dope sheet. And there I can see all of my PLA keys. So I'll just click on the summary. And because this was a 600 frame file, I want my last keyframe to be on frame 300. So I'll just slide that over. I'll do the same for end, but we'll be going the other direction. And now I have all of my different copies at their different points in the timeline. And I need to blend these together to get something that's going to loop. So I'll hide my copies, and I'm going to add a pose morph tag that's under rigging. We're going to click on points, and then I'm going to add each of these as a pose. So we'll drop in original, begin and end. And now I can go into animate. I'm going to go back to frame zero. And I'm going to pull this slider all the way to zero so that my flag end does not have any effect. I'm going to keyframe begin. And then I'm going to come over to about 100. And I'll keyframe that down to zero. And what that's going to do is blend the keyframes from my begin pose with my original keyframes. Then I'll come over to frame 500. I'll keyframe the end pose. That'll go all the way up to 100. And so now when I scrub through, everything's blended. And I've got something that's actually going to loop. So then to make my outliner nice and tidy, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to bake as Alembic and delete. And now I can delete all of those references and copies, and I'm back to the same amount of objects as I was originally when I opened the file. I'm also going to change the timeline to something a little bit longer. And I can change the mode on this Alembic from play to loop. And now it's just going to loop indefinitely, no matter how long my file is. I think this really opens up a lot of possibilities and makes this a really flexible asset. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. You can find my work at KelseySteel.com. Thanks so much for watching.